In this video, we're going to look at creating a multiple choice question post in Google Classroom. I've already gone ahead and created the post in Google Classroom, but as a reminder, if you want to add a question to the stream in Google Classroom, click the plus sign and choose Create Question. Here is the multiple choice question that I am asking my students. In this case, I'm doing a project check to see how they're coming along on other Genius Hour projects. But I could use a multiple choice question as a check for understanding, as a bell ringer, or as an exit ticket. Any of those options would be great for a multiple choice question. Let's see how I set up this question. I went ahead and typed in the question. This question is self-explanatory, so I didn't feel like I needed to have any instructions. And here are the choices that I gave them, the multiple choice answers that I gave them. I want them to tell me how they're doing on their project so that I know if they're going to be ready to go on Monday or not. You do have an option um, to allow students to see a class summary after they answer the question. In this particular example, I didn't really feel that was necessary because this is more of a check for me, not the students. Um, but you may want to turn this on if you're doing a multiple choice question for a check for understanding or a bell ringer or an exit ticket. That way the students can see how, they, how each other answered the question. With a question, you can also attach a file, a Google Drive document, a YouTube video, or a link to a website for students to refer to if you want to. So as we know in Google Classroom, things don't always look the same way on the teacher side as it does on the student side. So let's hop over to a student account and see how this question looks on their side. Now we can see that this student has already gone ahead and done this question. They've already turned it in. But you can see here, the question will be displayed as well as the answer choices with radio buttons that will allow the student to select the correct answer. They will also have a submit button so that when they're ready to submit their, their answer, they can do so. So that is how a question looks on the student side. Let's go back to the teacher side and let's look at one more thing on the teacher side. So I can see that I have one student done, one student not done. If I go into this question, I can actually see an overview. This is a class overview of how they are answering this particular question. This one is probably more important for me to see how each student is answering the question. So if I want to know how Rachel answered the question, I'm going to click on Rachel, and then I'm going to be able to see her answer to that question. So with the multiple choice question, you get a, an entire class overview, but you can also see how each each individual student answered by clicking the student name to bring up their question. 